singlecolon.movie.com Music Reviews Okay, so this is gonna be a short tutorial on how to use LMMS. This is intended for those of you that have never used LMMS before and are just getting used to it right now, just got it installed. And yes, I mean, it's not this thing that really pops up when you open it up, but well, I've loaded some sounds here to show you how it works. For example, this is a rape bass. This is part of an oscillator instrument that you can find right here. But that you can also find, let's see, right uh, here. Yeah, so you've heard that rape right, bass. It's how this sounds like, and you can preview all of those things. Yeah. Okay, uh, now we just close this and we just look here. We left click so that it highlights that sequence. We right click and we open in piano roll. Now, what we have done this for is for placing notes. You can uh, place notes with your keyboard. I'm just gonna show that to you real quick. You press the record button, we have the metronome, and we go. Yeah, so that was a really quick way to do it. Um, yeah, so I've pressed the control A and I've dragged it. Pretty much really easy. Yeah, so that's how this is going. This is the song editor. This is where all the tracks are placed at. Yeah, just so that you can see them. <coughs> Let's play it. Yeah, you can edit this. Each individual note you can edit. And you can also select the control. You hold down control and the left key and you just go for it. When it gets to the end of a measure, just repeat. Okay. But in this song editor, it's not exactly like that. Um, yeah, sorry. Um, you just not, you don't just get it repeated, and it just keeps going. Okay, so this was how to you, how you work with an instrument really quickly. Now let's see what happens if we uh, go for a little modulation. Now modulation is not the really proper name with for it. It's actually an automation editing um, sequence there, and how to use this is just uh, really easy, you just drag a control. For example, let's drag the master volume. We just drag it in here, we double click, we initialize the volume, we make it a little higher after that, and we press this thing because we want it to be continuously. We want the sound, the volume to increase um, continuously up until that point. Let's see how it sounds. Okay, if we wanted to make it sound even louder, we just go for it. Let's see how that sounds like. Okay, real simple. Now, <clears throat> what this thing is right here, we have right here the drum editor. You can place all the percussion things, even the bass things, really, but we've got only percussion for now. So let's place a simple, a simple bit here. Yeah, you can always hit space to play. I'm gonna press it. Yeah, just a really simple thing. We go where it says down. Nah, uh, uh, uh. It says down number one, and we can just drag it like that. It's that simple. If we would want to drag this thing, we can see that it does not work. That's because it is a fixed sub sequence. It it's not made to be repeated, but if we hold control and we click it and then drag it, we can do that very easily. With this we just go another two measures further and we hit play. Okay, these two things right here are um, from another instrument called the audio file processor. I didn't make them, they're just presets from here. Um, 
from here actually it has and it's a start yeah so that's what we have here we just open it in piano roll like in any other instrument uh let's see what note we were on uh we're gonna close this for a little bit see so this note from where we started is a b yeah so we're gonna go for that b here as well so that it doesn't sound awkward boom and we drag it all the way to the fourth measure to the end of the fourth measure because that's how long ooh, the fourth measure yeah okay that's how long our song last is our mini song let's go yeah great so um, what I have not showed you and it's really simple is how you drag these instruments here yeah so you just press it while holding control and you drag it into the song editor bam and you can see it right here it's the same thing if you wanna you can um, um, <clears throat> drag these sound sequences between instruments so for example I want to drag it from here to here and if you want to delete it you press you press the middle mouse button boom yeah so it's deleted but it will sound the same because it's the same instrument with the same volume and all that yeah yeah okay if you want to just make it an octave down so that it's not um, going all in for the first for the first measure let's go or if you want to go real high we can just do that okay you notice that once you get uh, the note um, octaves higher it's shorter so you wouldn't need all these things what I did here was press control and just uh, <coughs> Well, uh, scrolling down. Now I'm gonna hold Control. No, I'm not. Gonna. I'm just gonna click it and get it to a measure long. Okay, and play. Okay, what I didn't tell you um, about this thing. This is the mixer. Okay, so this is the mixer where you get all the sounds to go into the master. If I hit play, you can see that we have the drums here, the rake bass, which is the bass we showed you in the first uh, part of the video. And yeah, this is the mixer. Uh, the way to assign those things is by opening up um, the instrument, you just click it. This is the triple oscillator, as it comes installed with the rake bass setting, that you can get from here, from the triple oscillator thing. Yeah. And you can set uh, all kinds of things here from sine wave, for triangle wave, a saw, and all that, includes, including noise, and so on and so forth. Yeah, there are a lot of instruments here, but what I meant to tell you is that <coughs> this sends it to FX1. Okay, so this sends to FX1, and you, um, it's better to do this, to send them to different volumes at first, and then to have them all in the master, because... You can see better which is louder than the others because otherwise you would have a song that sounds really 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 loud and you would not know from where it comes from where it comes from yeah. and how you notice if you have a really really loud song is by looking at this thing let's play now nah, let's play it the song we can see here the sign uh, the wave Form, yeah the waveform of the song is being displayed here and if we have it all too loud it's too loud we can already see this going wild okay so it's a little louder but if this gets really loud oh my god yeah so that was red as you could have seen here it was red it's not good and for such things you have to watch out so that you um, don't get your song all uh, destroyed by that thing okay 
um, set this back a little bit. Another thing I want to show you is this tempo setting. You just click it, double click it, and set the song tempo. For this song, which is a really slow song, let's go for, I don't know, 100. It usually opens up in 140 BPM. Let's see how it sounds like. <laughs> Okay, another thing is that, um, well, if we get this by double-clicking that, <coughs> the drum editor, I didn't tell you how to get all these things here. Well, they are found in the same place, we just go here to the drums and we just choose whatever we want, we drag them there, we can change their names, for example, yeah, I'll leave this like that, but I previously changed it. I wrote where it sends that uh, information to which volume controller. <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, so let's add something else like a closed hat here. Let's see how it sounds. And now in the song editor. Yeah. Okay, so that was basically it. This is how to make your first song. Uh, sound in LMMS. Yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you later.